Administrator Lisa Jackson gave her first public comments today about a key aide who compared the EPA's enforcement philosophy to ancient Romans going into a town and crucifying the first five people they found in order to make the rest of the population easier to manage. In response to questions from Fox, Jackson noted that official has apologized for his comments. Frankly, they were inflammatory, but they were also wrong, and they don't comport with either this administration's policy on energy, um, our policy at EPA. That hardly satisfies the critics who think regional administrator Al Armandatis was telling the truth about EPA's approach to regulation, and one critic has a suggestion for the president. He should follow the advice of the administrator. He should walk into the EPA headquarters, fire the first five people he sees, and it will probably become an agency a little easier to manage from that point forward. Critics argue the crucify comments ring true on EPA allegations of water contamination from the process known as fracking. Ms. Jackson acknowledged to Fox there are no proven cases of that. In no case have we made a definitive determination that the fracking process has caused chemicals to enter groundwater. Nevertheless, critics say EPA goes into communities, alleges contamination, and frightens the local population like range resources in, in Texas, they didn't do anything wrong. They didn't contaminate any water. And yet for a year, they were, they were benign, just, it was a barrage of insults and saying these people are out there contaminating the water and all that. After a year, he told Greta Van Susteren, the EPA quietly dropped the allegations, part of what he sees as a clear strategy. This has been a war on fossil fuel. If they can uh, do that, they can make it non-competitive so that they can come in with their green energy. Ms. Jackson puts it a different way. She talks instead about the need to safely expand oil and gas production while also reducing the need for it. It also means reducing our overall reliance on oil through fuel efficiency and through the use of renewables. In keeping with that, oil and gas production on federal lands was down 13 percent last year. Though it goes beyond just the oil and gas industry, last year EPA enforcement actions required companies to invest an estimated $19 billion in action and equipment to control pollution. That is an EPA all-time record.